I can do this. I can. I think I can. I think I can. Oh, can't do it. Va va doom. People, Weekly, Robo, New York Comic Con, too much news, no chitty chatty. Let's talk about some Dragon Ball, some Street Fighter, some, uh, I forgot the list. I'm, I'm trying too fast. Hellboy, Avengers, DC, what else we got? Uh, some more DC, some Game of Thrones, some Marvel Legends, and of course, some Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> First up, we talked about the SH Figure Arts Obi-Wan Kenobi last week. Uh, what I didn't talk about was the SH Figure Arts Dragon Ball Z Evil Majin Buu, or Super Buu, or whatever you want to call him. Come at me, and let's argue about it. It went up the same night as Obi-Wan Kenobi as I was sitting there clicking, oh, oh, gotta get Obi-Wan, gotta get Obi-Wan. I was watching Majin Buu 2, and he sold out quick. He was just gone from Ami Ami. That's because it's a nice looking figure. I dig the sculpt here, I dig the poses, the articulation puts him in my mental image of Buu. Now the figure included three heads. He had the frowny face, he had the smiling face, and then he has the open wide face. He's going to the dentist. He's getting his teeth checked. I may or may not have watched the Boo Saga yet. I'm getting there, damn it. And then he has alternate parts for good Boo or fat Boo or whatever anybody wants to call him. That's $55 if you can find him for pre-order and comes out in March. Also from SH Figure Arts is the Street Fighter Blanca. We talked about this last week. They showed a little teaser picture of the sculpt. We thought, oh, Street Fighter line was done. Are they going to make any more? Oh, nope. Here's Blanca. This week he gets pretty promotional pictures showing I, it's kind of hard to tell just how big he is compared to the other figures. I've seen the Street Fighter figures in person. I, they seem a little bit small, so Blanca looking bigger than them. I don't know how big that is compared to other figures or other lines because <laughs> because I don't collect Street Fighter, but I find Blanca visually interesting. I thought about him, but I also thought about making him into a custom of Beast. If Marvel Legends isn't going to get around to making us one anytime soon. I'm not mad about it at all. All the pictures have him in permacrouch or, you know, hunch or crunch. And then putting him beside the other figures. He looks big, but how big is he actually? I think it says he's six inches tall. That gives me a rough idea, but... He comes with two faces, one is gritting, one is open mouth. Comes with alternate hands and then two electric shock effects makes it look like you know he's using it and the other player is turning into skeleton with electricity around him that'll be seventy dollars drops in march but it is a soul web exclusive in fact it went up for pre-order today from the third party sites like nippon yasan and anime export so you'll have to go through them to get this figure i saw this floating around social media it's a steal from a video that seems to show the dark horse direct i did it i did it without messing it up abe sapien to go with their hellboy this is looking nice very comic inspired but it doesn't give us a lot of idea of how the articulation is with 1000 toys doing the sculpting here and all the prototyping, I have faith. Plus, they're open to listening to changes like we saw with Hellboy Knees. So yeah, more on that as it comes through. Here's another picture of the Metacom Mofex Avengers Infinity War Iron Spider Unmasked Head. Still looking pretty. Still hoping this is what it looks like when it comes out. Probably a month or two after it's actually supposed to come out. I love Mafex. I love them. I really do. I just got my payment request for Gwenpool, so even though she was pushed back, I just, hopefully soon we'll have an idea of what their comic line is going to be like. Mm, 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 mm. DC Collectibles decided to ride on the coattails of New York Comic Con and announce a few more of their DC Essentials line. Now if you've heard me talk about these before, these aren't my cup of tea. They're a little larger scale. The proportions, the arms look a little big, but I've seen a lot of action poses that look really good. They showed Wonder Woman, they showed Cheetah, they showed Supergirl, and they showed Cyborg but not Spider-Man, Superman. I've seen people nitpicking him, saying, you know, Cyborg Superman shouldn't have hair on the metal side of his head, that the Supergirl looks a lot like the Icons figure, even though it's not the Icons figure scaled up. Wonder Woman, I, the articulation may be hindered a little bit, and then with Cheetah, at least when I look at it, well, when I look at Cheetah and Supergirl and Wonder Woman, I think arms and legs, little bitty torsos. But again, I seem to have a problem with the proportions. I don't, not everybody does. I just look at it and think, you know, uh, that line has a great personality. But if you do enjoy the line, nothing wrong with that. I'm just some asshole on the internet not liking what he personally doesn't like. It, it, that has nothing to do with sales 
or anybody else collecting this line. Those will be $26 come out June of next year. Super 7 has announced that they will be re-releasing the Filmation He-Man and Skeletor in their uh, Club Skull Ultimate Editions. We saw this at the start of the Super 7 run. Uh, they did Ram Man and somebody else and He-Man and Skeletor and apparently they're good. What's good about this is the Filmation He-Man and Skeletor have been hard to get. A lot of people want to get into the line, but if you can't get He-Man and Skeletor, then why get into the line? Super 7 gives you a reason to get into the line. Hopefully build up some good wheel. I've played with the Karg and I've played with the Horde Mummy. They're decent. They're not meant for super poses. They are what they are. They're He-Man figures. I never opened my He-Man and Skeletor. I may get these because there's different options. I don't know what the other Skeletor head is. It's not that different. If it is, it seems to have a little bit more brow but it looks filmationy that's where i sit i know a lot of people think oh it's very simplistic classics is supposed to be this that's why this is a different line than the classics this is for people who you know dig the filmation look again nothing wrong with that we've seen it at shows we've seen it in magazine scans but here is the kyoto Amazing Yamaguchi DC Deathstroke. Holy shit, this looks just like Deathstroke. He hits all the poses that you think in your head a comic book Slade Wilson would hit. I love the symmetry of this picture. On top of that, he comes with a nice metallic finish, which I usually don't go for, but I'll give it to Deathstroke. It can be armor. It does look like chain mail or scale mail up on his chest. I'm good with shiny. Plus, it's a nice contrast against the dull black and gray of Batman. Those two will just... Yeah. As always, several sets of hands, an alternate unmasked head. He can still hold the masked head as a helmet. I'm going to have to read the list. A club, pistol, a rifle, katanas and sheaths, grenades, and then little mystery pieces that look like mounts for the various weapons to go on the body in places wherever they may go. $55, January. Mm. Big Bad Toy Store has put up a pre-order for a McFarlane Toys Game of Thrones line. Now, I usually don't do McFarlane Toys. They're just... <laughs> the last few I've opened haven't held up as well as I wish they would. There's also the scale problem. They're usually either larger or smaller than my beloved 6-inch. But from the description of this Game of Thrones line, they are 6-inch. And... Yeah. It's hard to say how it'll end up in the final product because as usual, we see the McFarlane kind of pre-production drawings or layouts. No articulation cut in, no sense of scale. But a lot of detail, a lot of color, I give it that. Now it looks like the Game of Thrones line is all in their season seven looks. The set has Arya Stark. She comes with a Valerian steel dagger and then of course Needle. Night King comes with a blade and a spear. Jon Snow comes with long claw and a dagon, dragon, dagon, a dagon, a dagon, a dragon claw dagger, or <laughs> a dragon glass dagger. And then Daenerys, she doesn't even come with a picture, but she does include four map markers. I really need to go back and watch Game of Thrones again. I've forgotten a lot of stuff. $20 a piece comes out next April. And to talk about articulation a little bit more, it does boast 12 points, which is double of the last figures I looked at. Hopefully McFarlane counts it weird, like the shoulders are one point of articulation across both sides, because their Fortnite figure looks fairly well articulated. But I'm thinking it's more like the Destiny figures I'm seeing at Walmart right now that are clearance down to $15. But if this line has a little bit of articulation, enough to get some poses, and is six inch scale, I feel like this could beat the Funko line. Of course, it doesn't take a lot to beat the Funko line, had so much potential, and just whooshed it down the toilet. <laughs> Like I said, New York Comic Con is going on right now. There's a bunch of reveals that I don't have pictures for at the moment. There's Storm Collectibles showing off their uh, Mortal Kombat, the, the robots, the, the, the different ones. That's how much I played Mortal Kombat. I know there's a word for them. Are they the robots? I don't know. We've seen some other kind of stuff, but we're going to go to Hasbro because mm, I love me some Hasbro. And the Marvel team just came in swinging, just 
Here's a bunch of shit for you to look at. They had a press only event off site, so they don't have a booth there, so there's not gonna be any more reveals over the weekend. But what they did show is pretty damn impressive. At least I think so. I, I love this stuff. They said they were gonna finish off a team, which if any of you have been collecting Marvel Legends since the first, you know is a rare and beautiful thing. But they are giving us Corvus Glaive and Ebony Maw from the Black Order. So that does actually finish off the MCU Black Order. Yeah, they're not perfect. I think they're still working off preliminary sketches. Ma doesn't have the hair. There's some differences in Glaive, but you know what? With the differences that we see in the other two, Proxima Midnight, <laughs> it took me a minute to remember the names of them, and, uh, I, or I'm not gonna remember it at all. The big dude. The differences we saw there, this matches that. I'm thinking of it as some kind of in-between designs. And having the whole team, ah, uh, yeah, I'm good. They showed off a Caliban, which they're calling the Build-A-Figure for the first X-Men wave next year, which from what I understand is May. Caliban may use some parts from Apocalypse. He may use some parts from Space Venom. I don't know. All I care about is that he's a big, bulky Caliban. My Caliban is more the skinny dude, but I'll take this one too. I'm, I'm good with that. X-Men, X-Men, and more X-Men. Bring them on. Because also in that wave is Forge. They hinted at him at Comic-Con. To see him in plastic already is, well, not weird, but it's a good thing. But at the same time, his face looks kind of bored. The metal on his leg is kind of plain. It looks like that plastic metal. Hopefully by the time this is set to release, there's a little bit of change here, a little bit of change here, a little bit of change wherever you know and just an aside caliban being a build a figure there pushes wendigo to another x-men wave later in the year so more x-men 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 and from the talk guardian also goes with wendigo to that other wave we see beta ray bill in his modern look i know there's a lot of love for the classic beta ray bill and the toy biz figure was damn amazing which makes this one being modern not hurt as bad i mean this is a different version if they had just redid it sure the articulation scheme would be better with hasbro's updated hips and such but i'm totally good with this too plus it fits the aesthetic of a lot of the thor figures we've gotten lately have we gotten any non-MCU. Yeah, it was last year. Plus, there's an articulated jaw. Wonka, 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 wonka. We see a two-pack of Craven and black costume Spider-Man who has an alternate unmasked Peter head. Craven's not quite classic. I hear people saying the bracers and belt and something else should be zebra stripes, but I'm good with Craven getting some emotion in the face instead of just standing there. There's an elephant. There's a rhinoceros. I think I'll go hunt them. We're getting a Hydra Arnim Zola and Supreme Leader 2-pack, which is, you know, Captain America as a Hydra leader. I haven't read the story. I don't know. It's a cool-looking pack, though. I dig green and yellow. I, I'm just one of those guys, I guess. And as beautiful as the Build-A-Figure Arnim Zola is, I, I love it on the shelf. I want this one too. It's got different arms. I think it's using Colossus arms, which does make it look a little bit out of proportion, but it's a damn robot with a face in the chest, no head. The arms being a little bit bigger doesn't really destroy the aesthetic. Then he has a different face behind that screen and a alternate head up here. Also like the Captain America, I believe he's using poison parts with some other, whatever works. It looks like the pictures I've seen. They also showed Professor X I, he's looking good with his little mental telepathy effect coming out the top of his head, but he also comes with an alternate head for Kingpin, which is Shadow King. It looks kind of creepy. It's kind of cool. It's got the fez. It's got the glasses, but it has that demon face behind the glasses. He just comes with the head. That means you have to get two cases of the Kingpin Spider-Man wave. Very tricky, Hasbro, but you know what? Here's me going in to pre-order another case of the Kingpin Spider-Man wave. Such a sucker. Mm. And then there's the writer's Deadpool, who it showed off with the alternate head that looks a little bit sad. I, I don't know. And then it also comes with a Bob agent of Hydra head. Just the head, you'll have to get the Hydra 2-pack, which I do happen to have. I don't need that many Hydra soldiers on my shelf, so I already have the body. I'm already getting the writer's Deadpool. You all knew that. So getting a Bob for the shelf, Mm -hmm. And then later in the day, during the Marvel live stream, they showed off Jim Lee Jubilee, which again, it's another addition to that Jim Lee team that I couldn't give two shits about, but I love it in figure form, and it's making me want that Jim Lee team on my shelf. Why? And then Night Thrasher. I never thought we would get a Night Thrasher. We're getting a Night Thrasher. Now bring on some Firestar, bring on some Kid Nova, 
Bring on some speedball. We need some speedball. Name a Rita. Let's get the whole new Warriors team. But to less fanfare, Hasbro also showed off some Star... I don't know if this was a different event, but they showed off some Star Wars Black Series too. And even though later we didn't get any pretty promotional shots, we got early leak pictures, and then, you know, the reporters at the little event got pictures too, of what looks like an archive edition of Anakin Skywalker. There's also the Yoda. I wish it came with a new body, but looks like the exact same figure, which they said the archive edition would be, but a much nicer face paint on it. Same with Anakin. He's getting the photo reel on both heads. And then it seems a scout trooper is coming with it. You don't have to buy the edition with the speeder bike that takes up a lot of real estate on the shelf, even though I have it and the model kit sitting up there. Now you can just get biker scouts to hang out with your legion of troopers. Then they showed off the new reveals, which is just two, but they're biggies. We knew, well, we had heard rumors of General Grievous in the Black series, and there you go. That is looking amazing. It's going to be hard to beat the model kit, though, at least when it comes to articulation. I don't think this will be able to bend and contort and get around like the model kit, but what this does have going for it is... Those of you who don't like to build model kits, you don't have to put this together. The sculpting looks nice, the weathering looks great on it, which I haven't ever weathered my model kits, so yeah, here we go. And then the cape actually looks very nice. Yeah, it's the Hasbro fabric, but it seems to lay pretty good, plus it has the inside pockets to put lightsabers. <laughs> And it's not exclusive. We had been hearing that it would be exclusive to Target, being a deluxe edition, like the Gamorrean Guard, but nope, this should be available to everybody from everywhere. But what will be exclusive to Walgreens is General Kenobi. Who thought we were going to get Clone Wars stuff? That's pretty damn cool. I haven't even made it through Clone Wars yet, and this was one of those figures that I wanted, but figured we'd never get, even though it seems fairly easy. It's a clone body with some cloth on top of it, Obi-Wan Kenobi head. But being a clone body, I feel like it's going to have that limited movement from the Star Wars Black Series clones, and that's kind of shown off in the picture with Obi-Wan in action pose with the uh, smooth criminal foot clamp at the bottom. But where they knocked it out of the park, and where they've been knocking it out of the park, is the head. It looks fantastic. I don't think it's quite Episode 3, although I probably will get an extra one of these to put on the old Episode 3 body. The hair's a little bit more wild than we see in Episode 3, but it still works. It's great. It's got the photo reel. I can't pass it up. And then it may work for that version of Obi-Wan after Episode 3 that people have been making where he's in the Tatooine desert. The cloth is a little bit flat, but I don't even care. It looks badass as an overall piece. And then finally, I just caught this as I was coming in here to record. There was a model show overseas last weekend, and of course Bandel was there showing off all their model kits, and we see this. And we've seen this at shows before, the custom Astromechs, but they've also added the R4 unit in there. Are these all customs? It throws me off because they each have placards with their actual names on them. And they seem to be going crazy with the Astromechs here in the next couple months with the two Death Star droids, the R4 unit. I just got the R2 unit, the deluxe edition with the rocket boosters and all the extra tools. Next year, are they gonna go crazy with the Astromechs or are they just showing customizing possibilities? Who knows? I would buy every one of these though. And that's it for this week. Well, that's, you know, <laughs> just a little toy news. If you're interested in the shirt, Ripped Apparel, promo code FOOSH will get you 10% off your order. And, uh, I don't know where to go. Let's just end it, I guess. If you like this FOOSH Weekly, comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you on FOOSH.